Hey guys, good morning. I am throwing another video in this week. I'm squishing one in and obviously <laughs> I, I've i got a vent. I didn't even get ready this morning. I've got a vent. I am having a body image battle this weekend. And I know that's funny because I'm the girl that wrote the book and made the course, but I just wanted to be like transparent. And, and this is my way of fighting back. <laughs> Here's what happened. So Basically, long story short, I have, ever since for the last probably three months, I got a horrible haircut that I just hate. I just hate it. And I hate my hair in every video and every selfie I take for the YouTube channel. Like, I've just been trying to cope with it because it's happened before. And it's fine. Like, it's it's fine. I, But on the last on the last video I made, yeah, I hated my hair. I hated it. Oh, I just watched the video and was like, okay, but I'm, this has been my thing with my channel. I won't let myself reshoot something just because of vanity. <laughs> if the message got through, I make myself post it because this is part of my body image battle to not give in to that pressure to make things look perfect when you post them. So I posted it. I was like, you know what? No, hate my hair in that. And, and listen, this isn't for you to leave comments like, oh, your hair is so cute. No, that's not what this is about. I'm okay. I'm a big girl. <laughs> but I'm telling you, Satan got inside my head um, after I posted that. And then I had to take a selfie for the thumbnail. And I, you guys, I'm not even kidding. I probably took like, <laughs> like a hundred. No, maybe not that many. I just, I was laughing at myself like, I'm not doing this anymore. And that's when my head started to go, I'm not doing this anymore. I... And I didn't like the pressure of having to get a selfie that looked good for the thumbnail, for the video. But And this is the funny thing. When I first started the channel, I wasn't even going to put pictures of myself on it, on the thumbnails. Because I was like, I don't like doing that. I don't like taking selfies. I'm not going to. And that was something the Lord prompted me to do. To get me more used to just offering the imperfection. Right? Because we live in this day that says the body image, it has to be perfect. Everything perfect. The makeup, the eyelashes, the hair, the... And mine are never. I, I pretty much hate something and everything I shoot. <laughs> I know. Isn't that how we are as women? I hate something and everything I shoot. So I just made myself like, you know what? Just a picture that's good enough and put it out there. And putting it out there has gotten me used to not nitpicking it. And just accepting this is what it is at age 51 with my genetics, my issues. I'm having hormonal cysts lately. I've got stuff going on with my hair just all the stuff that we deal with as women and just to kind of accept it and put it out there. But after my last video, again, it just triggered. I talk about it in my book and in my courses about how Satan knows our triggers. He knows that piano key that he can play over and over and over that will get inside our head. And he did it again. And I know that he does this and it still worked. I was so, I was so mad about my hair and I just had it. I'd been fighting it for three months. I'm like, I'm shaving my head. I'm so done. And then I went to church and my one of my dear friends had really cute hair that day. And I've, I've had this exact trigger before. And yet I sat through the service obsessing about, I've got to do something. I can't take it anymore. My hair, my hair, my hair. So today, this is my call to all of us that are in this body image battle. From one who's been fighting it for several years, <laughs> for decades, and who... From one who at least understands the tools to get past it, I just wanted to say the battle continues. Um, I'm aging and I'm trying to put myself out there on a video which shows everything and it, those triggers can even get in my head and start to mess with me. And I get mad that the adversary, again, it's such a simple thing to bring me into captivity mentally and to get me to start obsessing. And yet it works every once in a while it works because I did hate my hair and my friend did have really cute hair and I had terrible hair and I've had cysts this week. And <sighs> so this is my call yet again for all of us to not let him do that to us. <laughs> through Christ, there can be peace through this process of imperfection. imperfection. We were made to love beauty as, as women especially we don't just love looking beautiful. We, we love beautiful homes and beautiful art and beautiful yards and beautiful gardening. And we love beauty. And it's hard when our body doesn't always manifest. We have this fallen, broken body that things go wrong with it. 
I mean, I, I at least have my hair. Are any of you going through cancer? Oh, that makes me want to cry. You know? And I just got so in my head about it. And so today is a renewed new morning to say, you know what? No, I'm going to keep posting on my channel. And I'm going to keep taking stupid selfies, even if I have to take 100. <laughs> or maybe try to be less picky, but you guys, you don't know how bad I am at doing that. It's really bad. They really aren't postable, a lot of them. But I just um, want us to have the courage to just be authentic and be here and show up. And this is it. This is what it looks like to show our daughters, our sisters, our loved ones that being a woman doesn't have to live under that kind of standard, under that kind of perfection. Um, I'll put some other body image videos below that I've already made in case they're, some of them are way back. I made them a long time ago. So I'll put those a few could use a little love and a little help like I did <laughs> this weekend to just show up. And it's not like we never clean it up and try to make it look as good as possible. And that's fine. That's good. That's taking care of our temple. But to let the enemy shut me down mentally and get me in that obsessive place, like, no, 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 I'm not doing it. And that's why this, this morning, like, I'm not, I'm not going to pick apart the hair anymore. I'm not going to I'm just going to show up what it is, what it is in that day, in that moment. I'll, I'll make the best of it that I can, but I'm more than my body. I'm more than what I look like. <laughs> and it's going to get worse from here on, right? <laughs> I'm only 51. No, I, I'm venting. I'm sorry. I hope that's okay. But I just wanted you to know if you were struggling, because again, I, I had a daughter that we went off, um, this weekend about body image and there were some major things for her too. And, um, and it's amazing over the stupidest things, a forehead, our feet, like, you know, just, but we will, we'll just be shut down over these things. And there's freedom through this in Christ. And I know this, and basically I'm preaching this to myself again today, <laughs> as I continue to navigate this difficult territory. I love you. I don't know if that was even helpful, but it is what it is today. <laughs> Have a good week.